Welcome to Panda Key Learning. Now, in this video, we are going to learn about battery charging and discharging using a constant current and constant voltage and current simulation model using a simulink blocks. For new information and updates, a subscribe Panda Key Learning. So, first of all, let's see the introduction. So, in this example, a constant current and constant voltage and current is used to charge and discharge the battery. So this example shows how to use constant current and constant voltage block to charge and discharge the battery. The initial state of charge of the battery is set to zero point two, so that means the thirty percent, which means that the battery is under a partially charged before the charging process begins. The charging and discharging process is carried out for a period of ten hours. So this is our example. So this is our overall simulation model. So this simulation model consists in a battery CC CD block and constant current source block and a constant temperature block and constant ambient 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 temperature block. So let's see what we do. So first of all, cons battery constant current and constant voltage block. So this block mainly represents battery V jump. Battery being charged or discharged using a constant current and constant voltage umbrella. It takes the input parameters such as the charge area, the cell voltage, current, I mean charging and discharging. It provides the parameters such as the uh, state of charge and battery current. So next one is the constant current. Block. So this block generates a constant current signal that is applied to the battery during the charging and discharging. The current value is determined by the input parameter current when charged. So next one is a constant temperature uh, temperature sensor block. So this block represents a temperature sensor used to monitor the temperature of the battery. It measures the temperature and provides it, uh, feedback to the simulation model. Next one is a constant temperature block. So this block represents a constant ambient temperature that can be applied to the battery during the simulation. So it helps in modeling the effect of temperature on a battery's performance. So this is our overview of the simulation model. So next, so in this model, it consists of a battery CC CD block and constant temperature block, and also the simulation results. So let's see in an elaborate way. So first, of, first one is the battery CC and CD block. So these are all the input parameters and these are the output parameters. So input parameters are charge and enable. So this parameter determines when, uh, whether the battery is allowed to charge charge or not. Uh, when set to true means charging is enabled. When set to false means charging is disabled. Next one is the cell voltage. So this parameter represents the current voltage of the battery cell. It's uh, typically specified in a volts and provides information about the electrical potential difference across the battery terminals. So next input terminals is the current when charging. So this parameter defines the constant current applied to the battery during the charging process. It is typically specified in amperes and it determines the rate at which the battery charges. Next one is the current when discharged. So this parameter represents a constant current applied to the battery during the discharging process. It is typically specified in amperes and it also determines the uh, rate at which the battery discharges. Next one is the current. This is the output parameters. This parameter represents a current flowing into or out of the battery. It is typically specified in amperes. So the conversion is positive when the battery is being charged that means the current flowing into the battery and negative means when the battery is being discharged a current flowing out of the battery so this input uh, parameters allow you to control uh, the charging and discharging behavior of the battery by specifying the charging enabled status and cell voltage and uh, decide charging and discharging currents so the output parameter battery current uh, provides an information about uh, the current flowing into or out of the battery uh, that can be allowed to monitor the battery's charging and discharging state. So by adjusting uh, these parameters in the simulation model, you can simulate 
and different charging and uh, discharging scenarios and also analyze the behavior of the battery system with respect to the current flow. So next one is a constant temperature block. So this block provides a, const, a constant ambient temperature to the simulation. This ambient temperature can have a significant impact on a battery performance wise. And also it is a important parameter to consider in the battery simulations. So next one is a controlled temperature source. So this block represents a controlled heat source or a heat sink that maintains a specified temperature. It is typically used to simulate an external temperature source or cooling system in a model. So this block allows you to set the desired temperature and, the, and uh, control its behavior based on the simulation requirements. So it provides a controlled thermal environment for the system being modeled. So next one is a convection heat transfer. So this block models the heat transfer process through convection. So convection is a transfer of heat between a, a solid object and the surrounding fluid, uh, fluid such as air or, air or a liquid. So due to this movement or circulation, the convection heat uh, transfer block takes into takes into parameters such as the surface area and current to heat transfer coefficient and temperature of the surrounding fluid. So it calculates the heat transfer rate between the object and the fluid based on these parameters. So next one is the temperature sensor. So this block represents a temperature sensor used to measure a temperature at a specific location within a system. It provides a feedback on the temperature to the simulation model that can be allowed you to monitor and analyze the thermal behavior of the system. So this temperature sensor block measures the temperature and provides the information as an output which can be used for further analysis or control uh, for the purpose. So next here you can see the simulation results. So this is our current and current waveform and this is our voltage waveform, this is the temperature. For detailed information about this simulation and files, check the description box below. Thank you by Pantech eLearning. We also provide some various courses. For new information and updates, subscribe Pantech eLearning. Thank you. Bye.